I'm Lana. And I'm Casey, and we are Class C Broads. Today, we're gonna level with you about the confusion with leveling your RV, which it is very confusing in some cases. We have an Integra Accolade, which is the same thing as a Jayco Seneca. It's built on an S2RV Freightliner chassis, and other manufacturers use that chassis as well. The Thor Inception and Pasadena RVs, the Renegade Valencia, and the Tiffin Allegro Bay all use the S2RV Freightliner chassis. And in our manual, in one point, it says that you need to level with the slides out first. And then, in another point, it contradicts itself and says you need to level with the slides in. So what do you do? Well. We're gonna show you what we do to get everything all smoothed over. So grab a beer, stick around, and we'll be right back. going let me give the appropriate legal disclaimers we are not RV experts we are just trying to share with you our process for leveling our rig do your own research on your particular rig and what you think works best for you and I also realize that what we're probably going to tell you should spark a little bit of debate because Everybody has their own process out there, and while some are probably better than others, whatever works for you. Exactly. There are certain tools that help us with leveling, and of course one is just a standard four foot level. We also have a bullseye level, but I think the thing that helps me most is the Level Mate Pro app. It really gives you a sense of how unlevel you are before you even park your RV. And it doesn't matter if you're at a campground or you're boondocking, sites are rarely level. Usually I just get out of the RV and try to eyeball what appears to be a fairly level spot at our site. And then Casey, with the Level Mate Pro app open, will drive around and see just how unlevel we are at a particular spot by looking at real time data from the mobile app. So I know if the Level Mate Pro shows that the front needs to come up around four inches, that we're probably in a pretty good spot because we have rear airbags. We'll release the air and the back will go down and we can bring the front up a little bit. So the Level Mate Pro helps us before we park to know that we're probably in a pretty good spot. We're not going to make this a tutorial on the Level Mate Pro, but before you use it, you have to install it and calibrate it. And the basic idea is to place the Level Mate Pro unit somewhere in the center of your rig. We've got ours kind of right by our living room TV. And then you have to calibrate it the old fashioned way by leveling your coach and then using a four foot level or a bullseye level to actually measure whether you're level. And then in the app for the Level Mate Pro, there is a setting, it's just a button that says set level. And that will be your calibrated zero point for going forward. Even when we think we found a pretty decent spot and we account for the fact that the rear of our coach is going to drop several inches when we release the air in our rear airbags, we still might not be very level. We could still be off by several inches from being level, in which case we carry around some just standard leveling tools. We've got these beach lane levelers that are curved and you can roll the front tires up onto them very easily. We also just carry around a bunch of Camco leveling blocks. And last but not least, we have some old school two by eight boards that are great for just rolling the wheels up onto. Once you've found the best 
spot at your site, it's time to go outside and drop the jacks. Now, here's something that a lot of people may not know. Auto level is not your friend. We do not use auto level at all because it tends to raise the coach too high. And it really runs the risk of having your wheels come off the ground, which is something that you just don't want to have happen from a structural standpoint to the rig. You can read online about how, you know, people think it's perfectly fine to have your coach have its wheels off the ground. For us, personally, I just think it's an unnecessary stress on the chassis and the Integra Equalizer Owner's Manual and the Integra Accolade Owner's Manual themselves both say that the wheels should be on the ground at all times. So our philosophy is wheels down all the time. And to add on to what Lana said is you never ever want your back wheels off the ground because that's what's holding you in place. That's where the brakes are. You don't want to just start rolling down the road. <laughs> Maybe it's just us. Maybe our auto level needs to be recalibrated, but it doesn't work for us. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think that there may be some sort of demon or ghost living inside our equalizer system that likes to raise the dead, raise our coach up or something, and we need to have a seance or exorcism to get rid of the equalizer demon. Oh my. We find that the easiest way to level is to be outside and be using two different phones. On my phone, I have the Level Mate Pro up so I can see how close we are getting to level. On the other phone, we have the Equalizer app up and we are manually lowering and raising the jacks. What we do is we drop the rear jacks and once they hit the ground, you'll start hearing the airbags hissing and that's deflating those bags. And that hissing sound will go on for several minutes. So this is one of your rear airbags and it is what gets deflated when you hear that hissing sound. So now we've let the air out, can't hear the hiss anymore. So I'm going to bring up the jacks so that the back can lower and you'll be able to see it on the tire. off the ground so I'm gonna ground them again so now I'm gonna drop the front jack we next drop the front jacks until they're on the ground and we try to get as level from front to back as possible. Once that's done, we start the side to side maneuvering. So right now, the driver's side is all zeroed out and we need to raise the passenger side a bit. And when we do this, we need to make sure that all the wheels continue to stay on the ground. So now we're level according to Level Mate Pro. And we're gonna go in and do our double and triple checks of level. Now with the slides in, we're gonna do a couple manual double checks and just make sure that we're close to level. What about that crying in the background? And we can't do anything about that right this minute. We're pretty close to level just using a bullseye. So we're close enough to level right now that we're going to put the slides out and then check everything again. Despite what our owner's manual says in at least one spot, we do level before we extend the slides. level 
table and we check front to back, side to side. put a link to the Level Mate Pro in the description of this video, but please note that it's not the end all be all to the leveling process. It's just a tool to make it a little bit easier, but really there's no substitute for getting out your four foot level, getting out a simple bullseye, putting it in the center of the coach and using that to determine if you're level. We hope you guys found this video useful. The whole leveling of our Super C was certainly a learning process for us and we just wanted to share with you again what we do. And if you like this video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. And remember, whether you're on the road or on the web, stay classy. Cheers! Oh, cheers me. And we account for the fact that our rear is going to drop a few inches once we <sighs> quit it. <laughs> okay. Just because it, I, I know. can make funnies, I, you just have to not get distracted. I know, okay. So I know if I get licked on this side of my face two or three times, and then I get licked on that side, same amount, then probably level. <laughs> Gotta get your level kissing. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm a little off on this side because I only got one kid that time. Give me another one. Okay, there I'm level. <laughs>